Uh, the future for us in the short term is um, we're developing a, a MOOC, a massive online open course. And, and in the short term, this is about uh, taking our rebuttals, uh, putting them in video form, which is a new form of science communication that we're not that familiar with, but we're just starting to see the power in it. And um, we're going through it like a top 50 climate myths. It's really the skeptical science website in video form. Uh, that's really just the first step. Like we're hoping that the MOOC goes well, that lots of people use it uh, or enrol it in it, and and that just in that first course, that a lot of people uh, learn about climate science and also learn about the critical thinking skills to perceive when the science is getting distorted. But what I really hope going into the long term future is that all the resources we create for this MOOC. Uh, again, like with the, all the other content we've created, uh, become a resource that, that other educators and communicators and scientists uh, use and use it in the classroom, use it in talks, embed it in blog posts. And so the, the one thing I've been talking about over the last couple of years is um, misconception-based learning, which is the idea that a really powerful way to teach is through addressing misconceptions and teaching the science at the same time. If we don't if we only teach how the, what the science says, but don't explain to people how that science gets distorted, then they have no way of making sense of misinformation when it comes at them. And so teaching that critical thinking skills through misconception-based learning is a really important part of education. So this MOOC is not just about getting that information out there. It's also about in encouraging and promoting this type of teaching, which is addressing the misconceptions and that's really the only way that in the long term we can counter climate denial.